Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Rand from Team Arsenal back with another video. And as today, you can see we're on DB. We have an updated Tri Brigade Hero deck profile for you guys, as well as a, um, a live duel for it as well. Um, so before we get into it, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to your friends about the time recording this video. We are at 212 subscribers and we're trying to get to 250, 300, 350, etc. with every 50 subscribers is a giveaway. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so we're gonna go quickly into it so we can hurry up and get to the match. Uh, for the hand traps, we're playing Triple Ash, Double Drawn Lot Bird, Double Nibiru, and Triple Infinite Permanence. I want to play hand traps that I feel like would be the most impactful and won't necessarily bricks when I'm, I'm going to this current format. You know, we gotta go against Flunderies, Sword Soul, etc. I feel like these are some pretty solid options. Um, as you can see, we're not playing Cross Eye Designator or anything like that. Um, just me personally, I don't I don't have them, so I, I, I like to play cards I actually do own, and I feel like I can make a build that's stronger that doesn't necessarily rely on across the designator and playing playing cards like that. So yeah, we just chose to use some, that some hand traps I feel like are really impactful this format, and if they're not really impactful, they just gener, gener, excuse me generically cover everything. Um, and then moving on to the actual monsters, uh, you see we're playing the hero package obviously with Destiny, uh, Hero on Dasher and Celestial. Um, as well as we're still playing Triple Cat, Triple Fractal, Double Karas, Triple Kit, Triple Nerval. Standard uh, package here. Wouldn't play any more or any less. Um, only thing I probably would negotiate is maybe playing two cats instead of three, but you need to definitely see them. Um, and Karas, don't play one, don't play three. Two is just right. And I'm moving on to the spells. We're playing Call By, Tinky, Foolish Burial, Triple Droplet, Triple Full, about to say Triple Foolish, Triple Fusion Destiny, excuse me, Triple Tactics Talents. Now, we're playing the Triple Droplet. It's just a basic way to cover um, cover our bases in case we don't open up any hand traps. I open the most optimal, we dump some cards out of our hand and they get some cards on the board. This Droplet is really, really good, this format. At least I feel like it will be. Um, Fusion Destiny, uh, hard drawing it is fine because it's a backup to your uh, actual original plays. Like if you open up a revolt or you uh, want to go into the combo where you actually can pop your um, pop your bear broom with the the um, enforcer to get your revolt set up as well as your dasher online. Not dasher, excuse me, your um, enforcer online. Then it does play as optimal as well. So seeing it in hand is not a brick at all. Um, instead of playing pot desires or pot of extravagance. We decided to go with Triple Tactics Talents. Um, it covers our bases. It covers uh, as far as the cross out designator. We're not playing that, so tactics can circumvent that. We don't have any draw power that can circumvent that. Like basically, our tactics does it all for us. And that comes up a lot in our matches. Um, definitely love this card. I'm so glad I got a reprint so I can get my uh, play set. Then I already explained the infinite permanences. And then lastly, we played two revolt. Don't need three in this deck. The two was just fine. You don't want to break on this. It's not like a pure build or like that. Obviously, you can see. Um, move quickly onto side deck. Double Lantia. It's really good this format. Hanger tops. Just it's a pretty solid one of that you can really just slap on the board. It's either a beater or a pops of cards. A, a triple cosmic. I'm the win will play twisters with this because we already have have the droplets discarding cards and we need some cards in our hand and actually make some of our plays. Um, also, with cards like Elish and them in, the, in, in and out of the format, I'd rather just remove them instead of making them a problem later on. Droplet, not Droplet, excuse me, our secondary Droplet, our baby Droplet, Dark Blue No More. Um, sometimes you just want to just say, forget hand traps, just Droplet, Dark Blue No More, Lightning Storm, fight me. Uh, speaking of which, Lightning Storm, and then we do play double anti-spell in one imperial order, which I was iffy on at first, but I realized that this going first is basically three ways to say no to your opponent's spells, and if you already opened up, it's pretty solid, and it's, this is going to come up in the actual match, I'm show you guys. And then for the extra deck, we start off over here. Um, double Omen, one Rugal, double Farragut, one Bear Broom, pretty standard, um, one Omen Mirage, one Pred... Pray to Planet Verte Anaconda, um, one Doom Eagle, one App, one Dragon Lords, one Axis Talker, one Sky Calvary, 
um, one Zeus and one Enforcer. Now these two almost never come up, but they're just there as a backup play. So uh, yeah, that's why it's there. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the match, you guys. All right, guys, we're back. This actually is rated DB. Fun fact, match. So uh, shout out to my opponent here who actually won the RPS. So he'll be starting off. 40 versus 41. Opening hands. Uh, so on my side, we have Nerval, Fusion Destiny, Tinky, Talents, Nibiru. So we have one going second card. Um, Tactics should come up. Should come up. Uh, depending on what we're playing against. Uh, I'm going to show both hands there. There we go. And then on our opponent's side, Fusion Destiny, Droplet, Rescue Cat, Driver, and Nerval. So, a mirror match. Let's get it. So, I say when my opponent starts off, start off with the cat, activate cat's effect. Cat gets double kit. Link those two away for Farragut. Kit effect will activate. Dumping Nerval, then Nerval will search. Searching for Fractal. Then he goes Farragut, summon out the Fractal. Well, not Fractal. Yeah, yeah, the Fractal, excuse me. Now here, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was Cat was one, Double Kit was two, three, Farragut was four, Fractal was five. Now my thing is, I should have Nibiru in here. Um, so we can prevent him actually getting access to the bear boom through hard summoning it or through the uh, summoning of it because he could just summon it. You don't Nibiru him fine, banish two from graveyard, summon out the bear boom. Then if you Nibiru him there, he still gets his nerve ball. So uh, a little rookie mistake on my part. I should actually Nibiru him right, right then and there just to prevent that. But yeah, I get punished for it. So now we have to compete with a Revolt that I could have avoided. So when the bureau comes down, there's the tokens. And then moving forward, he's gonna go for Farragut effect. But then I notice he doesn't go for Bear Broom. So I I assume that he already had the nerve ball in hand, which he uh, did not, as you can see. So he puts one back after drawing cats. No, so Fusion Destiny, which this is why I like to try a hero build because it has follow up to if your opponent serves you to originally start, you still have the um, Fusion Destiny for backup. But that's probably the reason why he didn't go for the Bear Broom because if you go for Bear Broom, activate its effects, then you won't be able to use the Fusion Destiny to um, summon out the um, Enforcer. And see right there, I know he, <laughs> I mean, it might have been an accident. But he just so casually went by it. I love him dumping it, Karas in the grave. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You dumped Karas in the grave, fam. Um, that's not supposed to be there. Um, so, yeah, just to be play it safe, because that might be a revolt that he just set. So I don't want to give him any more materials to work with. So anyway, he he goes Enforcer to pop my Nibiru token, and he sets his uh, droplet, which I assumed was revolt already. And then activates the Enforcer. Pass back to me. So now I know this talent... Sh should be live because all I got because I got to contend with that enforcer and what I'm assuming is a nerve ball. I mean, not nerve ball, I'm assuming what is a revolt. So, stand by, he gets his enforcer. You go to main, you go for Tinky, Tinky to search for Fractal, and then we go Fractal, dumping self, dump kit, dump nerve, and then nerve goes for cross. Because my line of thinking here is that I can pitch the nerve ball, summon out the Karas. I have four engraved to just strictly go into almost so it forces him to actually use his plays, use his actual disruptions, which I'm assuming like is, a, is like I said, a revolt and an enforcer. So if it forces him to actually use his plays, um, and then I still have the talents to punish him as well as the cat. So that was my way of thinking there. So we go ahead and go for the Karas dump special. Then on Simon, he goes ahead and does the Enforcer, popping the Karas, which that's fine. So that's out of the way. We still have the Rescue Cat. Now here is where I'm assuming the Revolt, Revolt would just come down on the Rescue Cat, but instead it's a Droplet, which I'm like, oh, great, great. So he dumps Nerval, 
and he half he negates the uh, rescue cat half his attack and then Nerwall will search. Now this is where um this is where the mistake on, on my part comes in. I go talents to take the token because the token has 52 attack if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure here. Let me double check because it, we tributed over the bear broom which is at 17, the fair jet at 16 at 33 and the fractal. So that's 52, yep. So our math is I think is like okay, it's 52 plus the rescue cat plus our um enforcer should be game. But that's where our mistake is because we miscalculated by 150 life points. So we actually should have just went for his hand or drew two. Um, but in this case, we definitely should have just went for his hand and, and probably put back the um, rescue cat. So like I said, it's a rookie mistake on our part. But then again, um, he's already went through two kit. He's already went through two kit. Yeah, still go for, still go for rescue cats. He hasn't used a cross at all. So yes, yeah, shuffle back the the rescue cat and then summon out your enforcers and deal with the actual token itself, and just leave him on, um, leave him on kit and a top deck, um, which he probably could have played through. But yeah, me doing the math wrong. I'm thinking I had game here, but I totally forgot about the uh, droplet, which that's my fault. Because if that was actually his regular attack still, that would have been an exact game. So that's that's a big error on my part. It's going to cost me the game, I believe. So we go main phase two. Um, we try to kind of fix it. Then we real, then we actually didn't go into all Mirage. But we have Fusion Destiny that was actually played, so we can't do that. So that was a mistake on my part. So we will instead just go Enforcer popping the token and then um, using this Effect Engrave. Pass to our opponent. Who draws another droplet for turn. It's like, you've got to hate to see it. Um, so with that knowledge, actually, no, I, no, I can't say for turn. If, if he had kit plus droplet, it still been game because the card, he would have been shuffling the card back. So that wouldn't be guaranteed. Um, so next time I know. But yeah, standby phase, he gets his enforcer. I get my enforcer, and then from here, um, it just he has too much, so it's, it's basically a game from there. So we would go enforcer, he go droplet, negate it, and that's basically a game from there. Yep. All right, game two, we obviously opt to go first, knowing the matchup now. Opening hands. On my side, we have Ash, Nibiru, Anti-Spell, Fusion Destiny, and Triple Tactics Talent. So if the, we uh, first of all, our hand is booty for a tribal game place. <laughs> but uh, if he stops our Fusion Destiny, we still have Tactics to play the game, and then we still have three defenders that stop it, that basically hold him at bay. But for his hand, he has Lancia, Cross Out Designator, Infinite Impermanence, Driver, which he keeps opening, and a nerve wall. So he actually has access to his engine, plus protection, and then he has two ways to stop me on my turn. So that's pretty good. Uh, just unfortunately, just Lancey's not gonna do as much as he thinks he's gonna do. So standby, actually no, that's not standby, excuse me. Go right to main phase, we go Fusion Destiny. Um, dumping to summon out our Enforcer. Then set one and pass from there. Or well, set two and pass from there. So we actually have our uh, talents live in case we do actually draw it to a um, tribe brigade. Attorney draws droplet, which, man, driver and droplet are stuck to this man's hand. So in standby, we flip the anti spell. He's thinking of if he actually wants to do anything in, in standby. Um, he probably said about imperm impermanencing the. Um, the enforcer, which actually would not probably wouldn't have been a bad play. Just impermanent. That we don't have to worry about it being a disruption. Just go play your game with the nerve wall. But then again, you, I don't think you fully get there with the nerve wall, though. You just get set up for next turn. So there's no point. 
So he sets one, sets two, sets three, sets nerve ball, pass turn. So before he passes turn, I'm just trying to, try to break some of this back row away. So we're going to target the middle. It's infirm. Cool. So on our turn, draw Nibiru. Reset up the enforcer. Go straight to battle phase, swing over to phase down monster, which is nerve. Now, this is a brain fart on my part. Um, I tried to immediately ash him, but I realized this is in um, in battle. I think damage step or something like that. Um, so I won't be able to actually in, um, use the ash. So he gets kit. And then uh, main phase two, I'm trying to bait out some more back row. Uh, pop that one, this cross out, that's cool. He drops, turn drops foolish, so he's getting some, some engine going, which is the problem is he has to fight the anti-spell. So we get our enforcer back. Then main phase one. He goes droplet, which that's pretty good. That neutralizes the enforcer and he still gets kid effect. Which that unfortunately gets met by Ash. But thing is, I think he should have set the foolish, but then again, he's probably scared of it getting popped by the enforcer, so. Yeah, it puts him in a bad spot still. But we still don't have our engine online. We basically draw out the tactics talent. We're gonna probably set that. Yep. Go battle phase. Get some damage. Pass turn. Now our opponent draws droplet again. That's not gonna get him anywhere. Uh, pass turn. Fusion destiny. Brick. Uh, straight battle phase. Swing again. So you just see this right now this anti-spell is just doing work at this point. Anti-spell plus um enforcer just gets you there right now. So pass turn back to him. Draws rescue cat. Okay, that's a play. So he but he opts not to do it, which I'm trying to figure out why he didn't go for that. Well, yeah, he has to. Compete with a compete with an enforcer still and unknown back row. So I guess play it safe. Yeah. So yeah, I guess. But even then, I would say go for it, and then set your burial and your droplet. And that way, if, and if I try to pop like your um, your foolish burial or something like that, you can droplet it. Um, but for my turn, we draw a kit, and that's just basically game. Yep, so moving on to game three. Obviously, he's going to go first. Opening hands. We have Ash, Fractal, Lancia, Nerval, Nibiru. So we have the nuts at this point. Uh, because we have three ways to stop them and we have two ways to start our engine. So that's pretty good. On his side, he has Imperial Order, which that'd be good if I had some spells. Um, Gamma, which is still pretty good. Foolish Burial, Fractal, and Cross Out. So he's definitely getting online with his plays. Um, because I feel like he is, if he plays it right. But thing is, a lot of people know that Tribrigate plays Gamma, so you have to learn how to uh, keep that in mind when you're playing against the deck. Like most most Tribrigate decks play Gamma. So he's gonna go ahead and start off. Start off with the Foolish Burial. I'm thinking if I should ash this or not, but that's one of the times I thought about the Gamma, so I'm like, no, I'm straight, I'll wait. So we go Kit. Kit dump Nerve Ball. Nerve Ball Search. Goes for Karas. And then he goes for Fractal. Uh, I'm thinking on the summon, but he immediately shotguns the fractal effect. Um, so on summon, I'm going to go ahead and just use Lancia. And that's met by the cross out, which, of course, is, is to be expected. And then he goes to continue for his fractal effect. Which is probably going for fair distance, he has a cross in hand. Yep. Then go in for Farajit to summon out the Karas. Then wait for two and two Verte. Now here I'm thinking on summons. I mean he has 
one, two, I think that's four summons. So the fifth summon would be the uh, enforcer if he goes for that play. But instead he goes for Farajid to draw one. Draw a cat. And he's gonna put back the cat. Okay. And he goes for Karas. Karas would then banish two to summon out the Ancient Warrior. Which then, that's when the Nibiru comes down. Yeah, just prevent all of that right, right then and there. He's gonna set one, pass turn. All right, so for turn, we draw Fusion Destiny, which the Imperial Order would do work against it, but we already have our engine online. He has nothing to stop us except for if we get rid of this token. Um, so, standby, main phase. We'll go Fractal Effect, fill up the graveyard. Dump the kit, dump the Nerve Wall. Nerve Wall will search. Gives our Karras. He just admits the feet. Um, basically, the reason why he admits the feet there is that he knows that I'm already playing around the Gamma, and the and the IO doesn't matter at this point because I already have the engine online. He has no way to stop it. So from there, it's just basically game. Uh, so guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave suggestions down in the comment section below, and tell me you guys what you thought about this mirror match. Ren from Team Arsenal signing out. Peace and have a great day. Hi guys, it's Bunny from Team Arsenal. As always, thank you for watching our videos, and always remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.